Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're skipping out the Fan Art Feb today to do the YouTube Artist Collective piece. But first, I just want to say thank you because we finally hit 200 subscribers and I'm so happy. So yay, thank you for that. It's been such a long time now that I've been on here. I think I've been on YouTube for over two years nearly and I've just been waiting to get the numbers up. But yay, thank you. But anyway, the theme for the YouTube Artist Collective piece is spirit animals. So I thought I would do a fox, because I really like drawing foxes anyway, and they are an endangered species, especially um, the Japanese fox. I mean, it has, they've got their own uh, nature park that's just for foxes. But yeah, um, I thought I'd read a little bit about the spirit, the fox as a spirit animal first, and then I'll talk about the art. So. The fox is often associated with the figure of a trickster, but as a spirit animal it can also turn into a teacher, providing guidance on swiftly finding your way around obstacles. If you, the follow, if you follow the fox totem wisdom, you may be called to use or develop quick thinking and adaptability, responsive, sometimes cunning. This power animal is a great guide when you are facing tricky situations. Well, wow. there we go. <laughs> um, the symbolic meanings associated with the fox are physical or mental responsiveness, increased awareness, cunning, seeing through deception, call to be discerning, ability to find your way around to be swift in tricky situations, and affinity with nocturnal activities and dream work. So there's just a little bit of information, but I'll use the link to the website that I've just read that from in the description below, but it's called spiritanimal.info. And they have a lot of them on there, so if you are interested in that sort of thing, then go and check out the website. But for today's piece, I struggled a little with coming up with a concept. And I decided, because I've ever since seen Audra or Claire's video when she did a book plate, I just I really wanted to make one of my own, so I thought, you know what, this would be a really good chance to challenge myself and to make one. So. I played around with compositions a lot and I kept swapping between doing it traditionally and digitally just to see which would be quicker. I mean at first I was just trying to practice drawing foxes with my brush pen because I knew I wanted to use those and then I thought oh maybe I'll try and get like a female in it because that's what I normally draw but then it just I didn't like the composition so I kind of scrapped that idea and fairly quickly as well to be honest. But. I mean, this is where I first started trying to do it digitally, where I just went over the fox because that was the main bit I wanted and I rearranged the composition a little and then, yeah, I actually really struggled doing this in black and white because I normally use colour and I was so tempted to just use greys as well, but it was just like, no, I can't use grey tones, it's just going to be black and white, that is what a book plate is. So that was the first challenge for me. But when I finally did settle on doing it traditionally, my husband actually just bought me the full set of Kuretake brush pens because my I only had the one that he got me for Christmas, which was the Fine, I think it is. And I was scared it was going to run out, so I was trying not to use it as much. So, but he's just bought me the whole set, so I've got like the Fine, Broad, and, oh, I don't even know which ones, but all of them. And they're so nice to use. I ended up using the largest one so it's like the extra broad or whatever the most like, especially for colouring the background because I did try and use my Pentel brush pen but it just it kept coming out streaky and horrible I don't know if it was because I was using Bristol board and the pen just didn't like it the ink wasn't working well but the Kuretake brush pens worked amazingly so I'll leave a link to those in the description box as well if you want to get a set for yourself I definitely recommend them it's compared to like the Pentel brush pen where it's quite a soft, it's a proper brush nib so it's really hard to get control with that. The Kuretake ones are like stiffer so it's a lot easier to get more control over your lines. Sometimes they're a little too hard which is what I found with the slightly smaller one than the one I was using because the nib was a little too hard but it works well for getting a lot of details in but for colouring large areas and getting the different line width you have to put a lot more pressure on than you do the bigger one but it still works really well and I can guarantee I'm going to use all of them but for my first idea for the background I 
wanted to do, you know, the oriental smoke sort of effect that you have normally when you see like Japanese illustrations and that sort of thing, or like uh, spirit things, they have like that smoke. I was trying to draw that and I've never been able to draw that. I always struggle or it never looks right, so I ended up scrapping that idea. And I put in some cherry blossoms on the top because I knew I wanted some flowers, but I wasn't sure which. And the cherry blossom has always been one of my favourite flowers, so I thought that would look really nice. And it would go with the oriental theme, with the branches to break up the background at the top. Um, so I kind of I stuck with that and with the branches, but the bottom half I just kept changing. So one of my ideas was on the branches to have like Japanese lanterns hanging off some of them to fill in the space, and then like the you normally see like the blue orbs or blue fire that's associated with a fox or a fox spirit but that wouldn't really work because you can't really do it blue so I had to kind of scrap that idea as well so filling that gap was kind of difficult but then I managed I managed at the end but for the bottom half I actually ended up swapping and doing uh, peonies at the bottom because they are my favorite flower and I was like well this is a fox which is like one of my favorite animals and it's this book plate has got to be connected to me so I thought I'd do my favorite things on it which I really struggled coloring the peonies in because obviously it's really hard to do shading with just black and white and every time I tried to do it it just didn't look right or it was like too white against the background but so I had to keep referring to different references on black and white drawings to try and practice different techniques and get it to work so I ended up colouring those in on Photoshop just because it was easier and I didn't want to ruin the original um, uh, bear, bear. traditional one that I'd done uh, words are failing me today but I'm quite happy with how it turned out and I did like smooth out the colour on Photoshop so it was all solid black and clean it up a little bit and to fill the gap on the side I put my name because I had to put that somewhere and the gap I was going to put it at the bottom I filled with flowers so I thought you know what I'll just put my name there and it'll be fine and it, it worked out really well I'm super happy with how it turned out so yay and um, this will be available as stickers soon and like as bookmarks maybe if you want it and it will be on my Redbubble as well so if you're interested then please, especially if you're interested in getting a print from me or a sticker, then comment that below so then I actually know whether to print them. But if not, then please head on over to my Redbubble and you can get it on a multiple a, a multiple range of things on there, or whatever it fits on. But anyway, we're coming to the end of the video now, so I hope you like the piece. I'm really happy with how it turned out, like I said, and I can't wait to see what everyone else has done for this as well, because it is quite a challenging topic. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for the next fan art fab piece. Bye.